Welcome back. Today we are going to calibrate a set of hydrogen peroxide sensors, our HPO100 to be specific, which is our micro sensor, and 100 because the diameter is 100 microns. We have a set of three over here in the PBS buffer, and we've been letting them polarize for a little over an hour. And I wanted to show the full range on the data track software to show this is the point where they were immersed in PBS buffer by the vertical lines and they slowly polarized coming down to a baseline current less than a thousand. And now I'm going to get our standard one millimolar hydrogen peroxide. And it should be noted the standard one millimolar needs to be kept refrigerated and also away from light because the concentration will change over time. So that's important, especially with your calibration. You want to make sure you have accurate data. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start our calibration at two microliters. And since we're going to be using one millimolar hydrogen peroxide, a two microliter injection will give us a final concentration of a hundred nanomolar. And I'm going to try to make the same general area for my injections because it's possible that you may see an injection spike on one of the sensors since we're testing more than one at a time. And you can see the black line indicates the mark where we put the injection. And you see the gradual increase in the response of current. And when we get the next injection ready, doubling this will be 4 microliters, which will result in a final concentration of 200 nanomolar. And again, try to make the same general spot location for my injection. We will double again to 8 microliters. And again, this will result in a final concentration of 400 nanomolar right now. And I will now make a final injection of 16 microliters. This will result in 800 nanomolar final concentration. I'd like to note I'm making this the last concentration because with the sensitivity of the sensors, if I double after this point, you will not be able to see the true response because it will peak out of the range. And I'd just like to make a note that you're welcome to go at higher concentrations. You just need to adjust the units and the display and range accordingly to see the true response. So until next time for the next calibration, signing off.